Hey guys, it's Lindsay McDonald with tvguide.com and today we get to talk about something that I have been talking nonstop about for about two weeks, which is Wonder Woman. First and foremost, let's talk about the actress. There were so many people on our list for who we wanted, Priyanka Chopra, Alicia Vikander, Troy Belisario, but we eventually landed on Jessica Henwick. So she was on Marvel's Iron Fist as Colleen Wing, AKA the only redeemable thing about that TV series. And she kicked, ooh, can I, case, can I say kick ass? <laughs> kick butt, yeah, we'll do kick butt. She absolutely kicked butt. She was amazing in that series. And she was also in HBO's Game of Thrones, which you might recognize her as one of the Sand Snakes. She was Nymeria Sand, and she was the one who was sort of flinging that whip around, which was what originally got us thinking she would make a great Wonder Woman. Who better to swing that lasso than someone who already has experience? As far as showrunners go, uh, Michelle Fazekas and Tara Butters were amazing on Agent Carter. They proved that they can do this kind of show and do it well. She was strong, she was smart, and she was incredibly competent in her job in a male-dominated work environment. That has Wonder Woman written all over it. For directors, it's so important that we have a female director in there, which is why we think Reed Morano would be a great choice. She's directed three episodes of The Handmaid's Tale, which has completely taken everyone by storm. For a female director, it's so important that we see Wonder Woman not through the male gaze, but just as a superhero, which is what the movie did really, really well. Finding a home for this show would be next to impossible, but we pretty quickly ruled out out that the broadcast networks are not what we want for this kind of thing. HBO is where we have got to go if we're gonna make a Wonder Woman TV series. They have proven they can do something huge like this with Game of Thrones, with Westworld. They make amazing action-based series. Okay, so Wonder Woman's costume. I wanna be really particular about this. If I could, I would absolutely rip off Gal Gadot's movie costume for this TV series. It was absolutely amazing. It was not over-sexualized. My only complaint would be to give her a little bit more armor. The arms were a little bare, the legs were a little bare. Everybody loves a scantily clad female hero except for females. Give her some protection on the battlefield, put some armor on her. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, I'm Lindsay McDonald with tvguide.com, and if you have thoughts about what a perfect Wonder Woman series would look like, tell us in the comments below.